Now in this clip, we're going to add a simple particle element that's going to give us this rather interesting bokeh effect to add some depth of field to the overall image here. And I've got a very simple abstract image to achieve this. So go to the file menu, I'm going to open, we're going to go to the assets folder once again, and go and locate an image called bokeh particle. Go ahead and open up that. You'll see it's in color. Now like the splash element, we do not need the color information in this particular image. So once again, I'm going to remove the color by simply pressing shift command U or shift control U if you're on Windows. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and open up the levels. Just go to image adjustment and choose levels. And we're going to force a lot of the image to black by grabbing the black eyedropper tool here in the levels panel. I'm just going to click in a kind of middle darker gray area of the particle image here, just right about here. You'll see it forces a lot of the image to black, but a lot of the area still remains gray and even white in a lot of areas. So that looks okay, so we're going to click OK. And now let's take this image and drag and drop it into our working document. Again, hold down the shift key so that it lands centered in the image. Now once again, like some others, it may have come over rather large, so go ahead and press command T and then command zero. Expand the document so we can see it. And I'm gonna again hold down shift option and grab a corner and just scale it toward the center here. Now we wanna make sure this layer is above the can layers. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's at the very top of the layer stack here in the layers panel. And I'm going to simply change the layer blend mode from normal to screen. Renders all the dark areas invisible, leaving just the white particle elements in the scene. Now we're going to enhance that a little bit more by going to the filter menu and go to the blur and choose Gaussian blur. And we're going to run about a three pixel blur on here, as you can see right here. Go ahead and click OK, and you can already see the depth that is already starting to be created just by adding this image. If I turn that layer off, you'll see how much atmosphere it's already creating here. Now, what I want to do next is go ahead and add a layer mask to that layer. And we're going to go over here and get the gradient tool. We're going to use the same gradient we used earlier, which is the foreground to transparent gradient, radial as well. And I'm just going to add a couple of gradients in the area of the can just to kind of hide that image. And I want to do it completely. I want to have some of those particles just kind of creeping in front of it. So I want it to have it look like it's surrounding the can element. But uh, but you can see that looks really nice there. And just by, again, turning that layer on and off, you can really see the effect it's having on the overall scene here. So there is the bokeh element that's going to help create the depth of field. In the next clip, we're going to add falling ice cube. And we're going to do that in a very unique way by creating an ice cube brush. So let's have a look at that.